Okay, here's the first situation, it's half guard. A lot of guys get in half guard when they're fighting and uh, they don't know what to do. A lot of times uh, some of the commentators say there's no submissions, like for instance, the chicken wing or the kimura, the double top wrist lock form half guard. Simple to catch, simple. So here's the first thing. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Ben Jones. Okay, here's the first thing. Guys get into half guard. Okay, this is really simple. I showed this to Nick Thompson on a seminar a long time ago, Nick the Goat. After I showed it to him, this is like his number one move he uses. So the biggest thing uh, for me is to try to get my foot to his ass. So I want to get it as high as I can. Then I want to push his knee down. And as I push my knee down, I want to actually get my foot to this point where I'm actually still one-legged mounted. I want to underhook here nice and tight and then put my other hook. Oh, I've got full mount. Okay, so my objective as an escape one of the best ones for MMA is to get your foot as close as you can to the butt, push it down, and create a mount. Now, when I do this, he's got my leg trapped, and I start to walk the foot up, and I push, he's gonna defend his knee, he's, not, he's gonna kill the post. As he kills the post, you're just gonna come over the top. Kill the post, boom, come over the top. Okay, this is your first catch. Now, he's not gonna let me have it, so he's gonna straighten his arm. Okay, perfect. So look what I do, just like a motorcycle grip. First thing I need to do is I need to bend his arm. So how do I bend his arm? Two ways, number one, put my elbow right in his shoulder. Yeah. Look at that, he bends to here, comes up nice and tight. As it's tight here, I have the option of coming here, here, or here. Now, I bring my left knee tight to his body, and I walk his body over. Okay, one more time. So I push, he defends, defend, defend, okay, take it, here, okay, perfect. Now knee tight, walk the body weight over. Number two, fall back, now rip it up high. Okay, those are two options. Another way to get him up on his side is to put your elbow right into his face, side of the cheek, look at this, he's gonna roll up, there it is, nice and tight, bring this up, he straightens his arm out. Bring it up as high as you can and there's your submission. If you want to keep twisting, that's it. He bends it, look, here it comes. No, no. He bends it, he bends it, he bends it. He bends it. That's your wrist lock. Okay, half guard submission. I think my eyes are my best asset as far as uh, looking at fighters, picking them apart and telling people how they could beat them. Because I see weaknesses in everybody's game in different areas and things and, and what I can do is actually formulate a game plan to try to capitalize on those weaknesses and even strengths. So uh, I hope this tape actually, this DVD actually helps you get an insight towards a few simple mistakes that a lot of the fighters actually do that will um, actually help you become a better fighter.